Hello everybody and welcome to the video notes for Unit 4, Day 14. And today we're going to be learning about the distributive property. Today's video is dedicated to Brianna Flores in 6C. Hi Brianna. Let's take a look at this expression right here. We have a 2 outside a set of parentheses and inside the parentheses we have A plus B. So there are a few ways that we can write out what this expression means. The first one is there's the 2 on the outside so that's the same thing as 2 and then multiplied so it's 2 times everything that's inside the parentheses here. So this means 2 times the sum of, because we're adding on the inside here, the sum of a and b. 2 times the sum of a and b. Another way that you can think of 2 times the sum of a and b, that's like having a group of a plus b, and then you're doubling that. You're multiplying it that by 2. So you would have two groups of a plus b. So 2 times all of this is the same thing as two groups of a plus b. And so now that we've established that 2 times the sum of a plus b is similar to having two groups of a plus b, now we're going to draw a model to show what two groups of a plus b can look like. So let's, I'm going to use blue for a's. So we have an a box here. And then you have, I'm going to use red for b. We're going to a plus b, which would mean we would have a b box here. And all together, this represents A plus B. So here's one group of A plus B. And we want two groups of that, so we're going to draw it again. We have another A. And another B. And this also represents A plus B. So this is how we can draw out a model to show two groups of a plus b. Here's one a plus b, here's another a plus b, and altogether it's two groups of a plus b. And then we can count it out. How many a's are there? There's one a here, and then another a there. So there are two a's. And how many b's are there? There's one b here, and one b here. So altogether we have two B's. And now what we can do is this expression right here, this 2 times a plus b, or this 2 groups of a plus b, is the same thing as we have 2 a's, so that's 2a, plus the two b's, which would be 2b. So 2 times the sum of a plus b is the same thing as, it's equal to, having 2a plus 2b. This right here, I want you to underline this, and we're going to draw a little arrow to this side. This is called expanded form. So in your classwork today, and in your homework today, Anytime you see the word expanded form, think about this form right here. So we've done this. Now let's check to see if this actually works, if this is really the same thing as this. Here it's telling us, well, let's let A, instead of A, let's use the number 3. And instead of B, let's use the number 4. So 2 times in parentheses. Instead of a, if it's 3, and then plus b, which would be 4. OK, that's one side here. 
draw a little line here separating the two. Is this going to be equal to this? This would be 2 times a. So it would be 2 times, and then instead of a, we're saying let's make a 3. So 2 times 3 plus 2 times, and then b is 4. 2 times 4. Okay. Now what you're going to do is, you're going to pause real quick. Solve, evaluate this expression all the way here, see what number you get. Evaluate this expression all the way here, and see what you get, and see if they are equal to each other. So let's pause, try that right now to see if they're equal with each other. And now you are resuming. Let's see what we got. 3 plus 4, you do the parentheses first. Remember, PEMDAS. 3 plus 4 is 7. So this would be 2 times 7. That gives us 14 on this side. Here, PEMDAS means we do multiplication first. So we would do the multiplication first before the addition. 2 times 3 is 6 plus. 2 times 4 is 8. 6 plus 8 is 14. 14 on this side, 14 on this side. They are equal to each other. This helps us confirm that 2 times a plus b is the same thing as 2a plus 2b. Okay. Now, let's try practicing, practicing some on your own. Write an expression to show that what is equivalent to 2 times the sum of 3x plus 4y. Well, 2 times the sum of 3x plus 4y, this is the same thing as 2 groups of 3x plus 4y. And what I want you to try now is the same way that we drew out two groups of a plus b up here, I want you to draw out two groups of 3x plus 4y, and then count your x's and y's so you can write the expression in expanded form. I'll get you started. Two groups of 3x plus 4y, you'll start with one block of 3x, and then another block of 4y. All of this right here is 3x plus 4y. And you want two groups of that, and then figure out how altogether how many x's you have and how many y's you have. So I'm going to have you pause here, finish this on your own, and try this one on your own. And now you are resuming the video to check your work. We're going to have to add in another group of 3x plus 4y. 3x and a 4y here. This is another group of 3x plus 4y. So all together, we have 3x here, and another 3x here. So 3x plus 3x plus, let's check our y's. I have a 4y here, and a 4y here. So 3x plus 3x, that's altogether 6x's, plus 4y plus 4y is 8y altogether. So here it is in expanded form. 2 times 3x plus 4y is equal to 6x plus 8y. If you got that all on your own, three gold stars for you. So now what we've learned is when we have an expression like this, how we can use a model like this to write it in expanded form. So this is the model way. And now what we're going to learn is there's 
a shortcut that we can use to get this same answer by using the distributive property. What the distributive property tells us is if we have a number or a variable on the outside of the parentheses and inside the parentheses I have two terms like that. This is equal to if I multiply the outside term with each term inside the parentheses. So this would be a times b, that's this one, plus, because there's a plus here, a times the second term, which is c. So it would be a plus b, a times b plus a times c. Let's see if that works for what we did here. So the expression here was 2 times 3x plus 4y. 2 times 3x plus 4y. The distributive property would tell us that we can multiply 2 times 3x, which is the first term. So two. this is equal to 2 times 3x plus, because there's a plus sign here, the outside term, 2 times 4y. 2 times 4y. Let's see what this equals. 2 times 3x, that 2 times 3 is 6, so that would be 6x plus 2 times 4y. 2 times 4 is 8, so 2 times 4y is 8y. And you will notice that is the exact same answer that we got on this side too, 6x plus 8y. So we've learned two different ways of writing an equivalent an expression for 2 times 3x plus 4y. We can draw out a model like we did here, or we can use the distributive property like we did here. Now that I've shown you this, on the bottom here, I want you to try both ways. First, draw a model for this expression right here, 3 times the sum of 2d plus 4e. That would be the same thing as three groups of 2d plus 4e. And then use the distributive property way, which is this way, to solve the same thing and see if you get the same answers for both. So I'm going to have you pause these two on the bottom. Try those on your own. And now you are resuming the video to check your work. Remember, really try on your own, because if you're just copying what I'm doing, you're not really learning. The model way, 3 times 2d plus 4e would be three groups of 2d plus 4e, so we draw that out. 1 2d here, 1 4e here. Here's one group of 2d plus 4e. And we do another group, another 2d another 4e. Here's another group of 2d plus 4e. And another 2d. And another 4e. And then you can count the, all the, how many d's do you have all together. Right, you have a 2d here, a 2d here. 2d here. How many e's do you have all together? You have a 4e here, a 4e here, and a 4e here. You add those all up and that's how you're going to write that in expanded form. I'm not going to give you the final answer because I want you, you, from here, you should be able to figure it out on your own. Distributive property method, it's 3 times 2d plus 4e. You multiply the term on the outside, which is 3, with each term on the inside. So you'd have 3 times 2d plus 3 times 4e. And then you should get your answer. I'm also not going to give you that final answer because I want you to do it on your own. If you're stuck, look back at your notes right here. It's very similar. The secret word today is, let's just write it out for you. 
just like that. Pop is the secret word. When you are done, make sure you get that final answer. You can raise your hand, and Mr. Yen will come check your work. Thank you so much for playing my game.